hi, welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here and clicking on this video. Welcome to Arts and Cass. I am obviously Cass, and today I had the idea. I found these frames at the dollar store. I got them in two different sizes. I thought it'd be a cute idea to turn these into rug frames, some little functional art to have in your place. So yeah, I'm going to be covering these frames in different rug art, and I think they're gonna be really dope. So here they are out of the packaging. You can see them better. We have two sizes here. I'm just gonna trace these frames onto my board so I can have the exact size that I need, and then that should be easy enough. I have four in total and four separate designs that I'm gonna be working on, and I'm really excited for this project. So I think we're just gonna jump right into it and get these all traced out. So meet you at the board. <laughs> So I think for this one, right next to the line, I'm gonna do the sides on all the sides, not the corners, so that I can bend it down. It'll make more sense when I do it. Me just contemplating life, trying to figure out how I wanna do this. There you go, one big, one small. Now I just have to do one more of each of those. Now that everything is traced, it's time to project all the designs that I've made on my iPad onto here and start getting to work. <laughs> Lots of hours of work ahead of me, so I gotta get started. Okie dokie. We have officially sketched out the frames. I'm also working on another project, so this is a little sneak peek to what else I am working on, but hopefully that video will be up before this. Anyway, ignore this other project. We are focusing on the frames today. I got them all stenciled out. I went ahead and started with one of the frames. I just used this funky rainbow color changing yarn, did the whole thing. So I'm just gonna continue to work on these. And I have two big ones. And this top one, I just didn't have the room to add the sides because they're too close to the other project. So I might just try doing a front of the frames, whereas these other ones are gonna wrap around the sides for a more finished look. But I guess we'll be able to see the difference, so that'll be cool. Anyway, now I'm just gonna continue with different designs on the last three frames, and come back to you when we're doing the gluing and finishing off process, because again, it'll be new for me, and we'll be doing it together for the first time. So let's get these finished. <laughs> Ow! Okay, we are officially done. Look how beautiful they look together. <laughs> now we are moving on to the backing process. So I'm gonna get the glue. I'm using whoop, this guy. And I have a little bit of this guy left. We're gonna use him too. We're just gonna use what we got. I just gotta say, I really thought that it would be a great idea to do a whole bunch of different projects on one board, which for getting the projects done it is, but for filming, it's been really hard to show you just the specific pieces. I'm learning my lesson. You guys are on this journey with me, whether you like it or not. But yeah, so now that this entire board is finally complete, we're gonna start the gluing and backing process. And honestly, some of these I am going to have to figure out as I go and you guys again are gonna come along with me and we're gonna figure something out. Cause this will be the first time that I'm really incorporating objects into my rugs. Usually I've just made a rug or a wall hanging. We're gonna figure it out. <laughs> I'm really trying to put this off because I am dreading this process. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna have to figure it out. I don't know, I'm stalling. What else can I stall about? I got nothing. Okay, oh yeah, and we got a hair change. There's a lot going on. It's been a long time. I'm really excited to finally get this project done because it's been going on for way too long. <laughs> so next, let's just get this done. I feel like I've said that a million times. <laughs> The frames are done. Everything has set. I've left it overnight. It's been a good 20 plus hours. We are ready to move on. So one thing, I did run out of glue during this process. As you can see, these top guys are a different color. These two have been set with the normal rug glue that you saw earlier. But because I was doing this super late and was not prepared, thought I could make it work, did not make it work, ran out. I ended up just using this original tacky glue. This is what I used to use to seal the edges on my rugs and for the glue to go on after this. So I didn't really have much choice. This was the only option that I really thought could work and it actually worked really well. It's pretty thick. So I was able to use it pretty much the same way as I would use the carpet glue. And yeah, it seems to be working well. It also dried nicely. So we are ready to cut these out. This is the first time trying to use my rugs and put them on something else. So I've never really done this before. We're just gonna have to see how this goes. As per usual, I don't have really a plan of how I'm gonna do this. 
I'm hoping because they all have edges that go around that I'll be able to fasten them on there. And I'm even thinking that maybe I should put them directly on there because usually the next step after I cut these out is bending all of the edges of the monk cloth onto the carpet to make it cohesive. But I'm wondering if I should put the frame down and then fold all the edges around the frame so it's really in there, you know? <laughs> so yeah, I've got four frames. I might try out a little bit of a different technique. I guess one takeaway is this also works as a sealant, which it, on it, this is easier to get sometimes. I can just get this at Michael's when I'm out grabbing all my other stuff and I don't have to stop in at Rona or whatever hardware store you go to. I'm gonna stop talking and procrastinating and get into figuring out how to put these frames together. For cutting, for cutting everything out, I find the best is just a little exacto. There's no more procrastination I can do except for doing it. <laughs> Here we go. So as I'm cutting them out, I'm just leaving an edge around and then we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do from there. Rainbow guy. This one is probably my favorite. Rainbow white. Ignore that corner piece. I originally made like a filler piece because I had this little corner. And then for some reason, the design that I made was so intricate that I was like, why did I do this to myself? And I just didn't do it. So ignore that. Look at the cute hearts. This one's really cute. Doo -doo -doo. Running out of places to put them. done the gluing process. I am honestly absolutely obsessed with how these turned out like obsessed. Okay, so I shaved it down as I was going. So the lines are really clean and I love the like the looped look. I love how chunky she looks. I'm just going to clean the edges up and the loose ends, but I think I'm gonna leave these as punch needle pieces because the chunkiness is given. I'm loving it. I think this is my favorite one. I love her. The edges. Oh. So on this one, I did only three sides. So this side is blank because I didn't have enough room on the canvas, but it's still chunky from this side. So this piece is just gonna have to be more like up against a wall shown from the one side, you know? Give the effect that it's a fully finished piece. She's still super cute. And then the last one, I was very much running out of room. So this guy, we love her too. But she only has a front. Look, okay, look at this difference. These two are the same size and just this looks like trash. Obviously, this one's gonna have to like go up on a wall or like you, you just have to position this guy better. Whereas this guy, put him in the middle. Center stage, baby. <laughs> Yeah, so this is completely done. Next, I'm just gonna clean up the edges, put some pictures in for the final look. Absolutely ob. As you can see by these beauties, we are officially done. So for these rugs, I left it a lot more punch needle loop and I just kind of cleaned up the edges. I got cute little photos in there, but this is how they look clean. This has only got the front, but it looks good from the front. This chunky guy. Also one side, we keep her on the side. And last but not least, I was gonna shave down the hearts, but again, I like the chunky look. So we're keeping it like this and we love them. I really like this project. Honestly, I was just looking around the dollar store for things that I could turn into my art and I found these frames and I was like, why not just throw them on the board? And this might be my favorite project yet. I love some good functional art, you know? So I'm gonna go put these all around my house. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. This was really fun do. And I can't wait to see what more I'm gonna do. So yeah, <laughs> until next time, peace.